Welcome to Outrageous with Nate and the artists in your backyard. Today, we're in Chicago, Illinois to overview some amazing artists. You're gonna to get to meet some artists who do everything from painting to collage to sculpture. Let's go see who's working in your backyard. Follow me. We're here on the north side of Chicago to meet an amazing collage artist named Mary Lou Zelazny. Let's go inside and see her work. My name is Mary Lou Zelazny and I'm a painter that uses collage, mixed media artist, and I've been doing that for about 35 years. I originally started cutting up magazines and newspapers and anything else I could get a hold of and putting it together with my paintings in order to insert a kind of surprise and serendipity and really I wanted something unpredictable that I could find out about myself through the use of collage. For some people painting is very direct and unpredictable but for me collage is. I like using the framework of the genre to explore where I'm at how I feel about being alive and having this great rich history that still I really am influenced by. The first time I, I walked in, this one obviously caught my eye because it is beautiful with the amount of colors and detail. So are we looking at collage and painting here or is this just painting? This is collage and paint also. Really? Okay. And I, I really wanted to create a life underwater and study the effects of light on forms underwater yeah. and get that impression of being surrounded by some kind of material that would be very heavy like water. And so this one is a little bit more abstract than some of the other things in the water series in that I really just cut out patterns that would define the motion of the fish. So this is uh, what it looks like. It's just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of, of pictures of things that I could cut up. And I don't know what I'm gonna need, and this is a lot of work to go through this. I was gonna say, wow, where do you start? <laughs> like, oh, what do I want? Yeah, hmm. so this is the mess that usually all of this stuff might be everywhere until I figure out what I want. Yeah, well, what's so exciting though is, you know, what you can create. Out of that. So this is just one example of, uh, of several layers of paint that uh, you can use a uh, tissue or put them together like this. Like if you have a classic ink blot idea or potato print or even Jackson Pollock and dribble yeah. paint and let it dry and you can use that and cut that up as well. And that's a very popular way to make uh, spontaneous looking paintings but sure. you're really planning them out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's control chaos. It's yes, kind of like, yes, yeah. exactly. Being an artist is really important for young people to embrace and keep in their life because it's not so much about making a product, it's really about finding a new way to do something. If you can think of a way to change it and put, it, put some element in a new configuration. That's the essence of creativity, and that's what artists do. They're, they're constantly trying to see things in a fresh way, and it applies to math, science, and whatever. The creative urge is not relegated only to the visual arts. After meeting Mary, I have an idea for a collage project, so let's actually look at the supplies we're gonna need. First thing I've got, is a magazine, any will do. The next thing I've got are oil pastels. Um, and really, oil pastels are just crowns with lots of oil. So if you don't have oil pastels, no problem, use your crowns. Next thing we're gonna need is some glue. And then I've got a couple different ways to cut out the pictures from the magazine. I've got some simple scissors. And now I do have an X-Acto knife, and as you guys know, if you're gonna use one of these, you're gonna need your parents' permission and probably some help. But scissors will do just fine. And I've got some paint brushes and a pencil because as you know, I'm a big proponent of sketch your idea out first. So let's actually get started cutting our pictures first. I've cut out about three different things. Now, you could actually add many more, but I'm just trying to keep this simple. My next step is, I wanna go ahead and glue this down. Elmer's glue is gonna be really thick, so what I want you to do is water this down just a little bit. I'm holding it down with one finger, and if you'll notice, 
I'm making sure that I'm spreading it out on every single area. All right, so we have everything glued. Next step, let's get our pencil and let's sketch out an idea into the background. I'm thinking something maybe like his bedroom. I don't know if you've noticed, but look how big he is and compared to everything else. I don't know if that's quite to scale, but I kind of like the way he looks like a giant. It doesn't have to make complete sense. It could definitely be from your imagination. One of the things I love about oil pastels, they're messy. You're gonna notice them getting all over your hands, but that's one of the coolest parts about them because we can actually blend them together once we get them on the paper with our fingers. Let me show you how. So far, this is looking great. I'm gonna finish mine and I want you to go finish yours. Now remember, try to finish the whole piece. It should be pretty cool. Until next time, remember, be creative, be innovative, and be outrageous.